In North Africa, the growing Islamic empire gathers strength, converting large numbers of indigenous tribesmen called him Aziran, or as the Greeks named them, Berbers. We don't know where the Imaziran came from because they were always there. All the invaders found the Imaziran there. By converting, the Berbers become part of the growing Islamic empire and are therefore provided protection. The Berber warriors proved useful in Islam's expansion as Arab leaders set their sights on the now vulnerable Visigoth kingdom of Spain. What they did was to use those uh, fierce warriors, the Berbers, who were newly converted, and they used them, they basically they got them involved in the empire. So the bulk of the people who invaded uh, Iberia, which is Portugal and Spain, were Berbers or Imazia. A young newly converted Berber warrior named Tariq ibn Ziyad lead 7,000 men in an invasion of the Iberian Peninsula. In 711, almost 100 years after its birth, Islam has crossed the narrow eight-mile strait of Gibraltar that separates North Africa from the lands of Europe. In southern Spain, Tariq ibn Ziyad and his men faced the Visigoth king Rodrigo at the Battle of Guadalete. According to legend, Tariq addresses his men. At the moment when the two armies meet hand to hand, you will see me, never doubt it, seeking out this Rodrigo, tyrant of his people, challenging him to combat, if God is willing. Nobody knows what happened. Most uh, Muslim historians say there were 12,000 Muslims. They say the Visigothic armies had 100,000 people and they were defeated in one blow. We don't really know, but we know that they were defeated. That's all we know. In the epic battle between Muslim and Christian armies, Tariq emerges as a folk hero, leading his people to a new land. 